Well, my name is Patrick Toit. Uh, I guess you would describe me as a citizen scientist. Uh, what I will be talking about at the or presenting at the March ICIM conference will be vitamin K's relationship to heart disease. Uh, my background, I was a pre-med. Uh, I've got degrees in biology, chemistry, math. Uh, I've got a ma uh, Six Sigma black belt in statistics, uh, a master's in biochemical engineering, and I'm working on my PhD in leadership right now. Uh, the title of my talk will be Patient Zero and N of One. Now, typically speaking, patient zero is usually associated with like typhoid or AIDS or something like this. Well, I'm patient zero uh, who stopped and reversed my heart disease. And I'm going to talk about what it took to do that only from the perspective of K, because heart disease is a multi-headed dragon. And in my presentation, I have a picture of a multi-headed dragon and all the labels associated with each part of that beastie. And the thing of it is, with heart disease, it's not one size fits all. In other words, there's not a pill for that. It's, it's a lifestyle change once you're confronted with heart disease. I represent uh, a company called Concentrated K or K-Vitamins.com. I started that company in 2013 at the insistence of a number of physicians and uh, health practitioners. They said, you have a lot to offer because of your, at that time, 12,000 hours of reading on the subject. This all started in, in November of 2002 when I went to a prestigious clinic in the upper Midwest where two of my buddies were physicians and they insisted that I get an executive physical. And I said, okay, I'm healthy as a horse. I cross country ski. I pull vault for fun. You know, I don't have anything wrong with my heart. So I go through the whole physical, pass it with flying colors. And as I'm walking out, my attending personal care physician said, I'm obligated to ask you, would you like any other tests? I said, yes, I would like a fast CT scan of my heart. And she said, well, I don't recommend that. I said, well, why not? She says, you passed all your stress tests. You're fine. I says, humor me. So when I took that test, that's when my life changed. My left main was completely calcified from the wall of the heart to the branch. And the attending cardiologist told me exactly how I was going to die, which is kind of nice. At least he was honest. And I had less than four years to live. So I told him and my two buddies that my body got me into this mess. My body can get me out of this mess. And within two and a half years, I cleaned out my left main entirely. And then I, I, I don't want to get into all the other things that then happened. I had a speed bump. I'll just call it a speed bump. And my I really ended up with a tremendous amount of calcification in almost instantaneously. Uh, and then by 2010, I finally figured out what was missing and which was K. And then I started drilling down on K and understanding how that works. I've been fighting this beastie for 16 years. And from my 2012 scan to now, I've had two scans, one in 2012, one in 2015, one in 2018. I have a 10.2% reduction in score and a 10.2% reduction in volume. And according to all the literature, that's impossible. But I did it. And I know how I did it. I know why I did it. And as an engineer, uh, and my, my specialty in engineering is process control and instrumentation systems. So when something isn't working right, my first question is, what changed? And you typically don't get that in the present medical model that we have in this country. Well, I, one of the slides that I have is of that multi-headed dragon. If they want to do anything for their patients, put that on an 11 by 17 sheet of paper in color and say, this is the bugger that you're going after. It's just not one thing. Uh, for instance, you got to get your thyroid right. You got to get your D right. You got to get your magnesium right. And the physicians can understand the science I'm presenting, but they're dealing with people that don't have those kind of science backgrounds. So you have to present it in a way that Joe off the street, and Mary off the street can wrap their head around it, but not get scared. But so they will have a perspective on where K fits in, into this task 
of uh, slaying the dragon. K is a very odd, I'll just say a chemical, not a vitamin, it's a chemical. And that chemical the body loves. If there's like, uh, I don't have the number in front of me, but for, for conversation, there's like nine clotting factors and three non-clotting factors. So when you talk to a physician and you say, what would happen if I magically took out all of the K out of your body? What would happen to you? Well, first reaction is, you'll bleed to death. No, you will clot up. The first thing the body does is make sure that your blood doesn't clot. Those are the first factors that are satiated. And then it works on all the other stuff. Uh, that's, that's, the one, the, that's the one thing that uh, most people just can't wrap their head around. Another thing that uh, the physicians will take from this is if you take D, K, and magnesium and you have a patient with a broken bone, the bone typically heals in 8 to 12 weeks quicker. That's pretty cool. People who take K, they have more energy. Why? Because K works on your mitochondria. The mitochondria is your energy centers in your cells. So it's not one size fits all, but it's a good step.